which was considered by the New Haven community to be a community center welcoming of all people, broadcasting that they're inviting a racist bigot, you know, a fascist to come perform on their stage. And despite the pleas of the community, despite a petition that over 3,000 people in New Haven signed, they still refused to cancel the show, even despite Ted Nugent's disgusting remarks about Trayvon Martin, his family, and people of color in general. He said that Trayvon Martin is a wannabe thug who got justice and that Zimmerman only got a sliver of justice. He said that black people are a different breed of man. The list goes on. We have the Answer Coalition. We have the Answer Coalition from New York and Connecticut. We have Women Organized to Resist and Defend. We have My Brother's Keeper with Barbara Fair. We have Unidad Latina en Acción. We have um, a number of clergy. We have a number of students. Um, we have a. We have the ISO. Um, we have a number of groups here. Are you pleased with the turnout? Um, yeah, I think well, we're getting more people coming in right now. It keeps growing. And I think um, what's important about this effort is that it's a longitudinal effort. And there's been a lot of calls from inside the community to do a continuous longitudinal boycott of Toast Place. <clears throat> so what we're seeing is we're seeing multiple families from the New Haven community saying, I'm not letting my kids come here anymore. I'm not coming here anymore because they allowed Ted Nugent to play and because they didn't listen to what the community needs in this time of grief. I think they're dragging their feet on it and I don't think much is going to come of it because we're living under a racist system where even Barack Obama being the first black president is afraid of saying too much on the issue of Trayvon Martin because he's afraid of coming up as that angry, as that angry black man. So if you're holding the highest office in the country and you're so afraid of looking at that angry black man, you know we're living in a racist system and you know not much is going to be done to give Trayvon Martin justice. We tried several times to go to him, to talk to him, just to let him know how the New Haven community was feeling about bringing this racist here, and he he just wouldn't see us. He refused to see us. So this was our outcome of not being heard and him trying to ignore us. Trayvon! Trayvon! Trayvon!